So I often talk about Bulova on this channel. It's one of my favorite brands. Uh, I think that they have a really great history. They have made some weird watches over the years, some not so great watches. However, they have made some amazing watches as well. One of those watches is the Oceanographer or the Devil Diver. This is the new 41 millimeter version of the Devil Diver. They came out with one that was in 45 millimeters. That wasn't too popular. Um, although it was popular and a lot of people bought it, I think a lot of people wanted a smaller version, one that was more true to the original uh, version of the o Oceanographer of that uh, 666 Devil Diver. And here it is. This is a 41 millimeter watch. It has about a 15 millimeter uh, width. It's about 15 millimeters. It does have a very domed sapphire crystal. It's a double dome sapphire crystal. So 14.4 millimeters. The lug to lug is actually pretty tight on this as well. Um, it wears sort of like a turtle does, uh, except much smaller, obviously, because it's 41 millimeters. So 45 millimeter lug to lug. Uh, the only thing is it does get these molded straps that they put on this. And if you have it on a molded strap, I mean, depending on how you're wearing it, it's about 58, 59 millimeters. So it does add a lot to that lug to lug. As you could see, it does not go straight down. However, you could definitely change this strap pretty easily if you don't like it. It's a nice strap. It has some uh, perforation or, or, or slots on the bottom for uh, perspiration and things like that. Uh, and then it looks like a weave on the top and there's some stitching. It looks really good. It feels really nice. Um, it gets a really nice buckle on it too. There's brushing and polishing on it. Um, just a nice really setup of this watch. So this is the orange dial and this is a fluorescent orange dial. It is really bright. It's a matte finish. You have an applied Bulova logo right at the 12 o'clock. Then you have these big clear applied indices and those indices are loom. So we will do a loom shot at the end. Um, usually Bulova, not that great with loom, but we'll check it out. And then you have sort of fence post hands and those are uh, loomed as well. Black towards the center, white. Uh, they are painted white and then filled with loom. Look really good on this watch. And the background, uh, that orange, it really pops. It's very easy to read. You also get a Cyclops on here. And I have to say, I really do like the Cyclops on here. A lot of watches I don't. The Cyclops is on the inside of the Sapphire Crystal, which is double domed with AR coating, as I mentioned. Um, however, it is just squared off and it's not really a big magnification um, and it magnifies, of course, that date that's there at the three o'clock. You get a screwed in crown, which is really nicely signed Bulova, very classically signed Bulova um, as, you know, vintage watches are signed. Uh, and then, of course, you get a screwed in case back again, keeping very in keeping with um, the Bulova sort of aesthetic. It just says Bulova. Uh, screwed in, it's polished, it's brushed. The entire case is basically polished. It's a high polish along the entire case. You do get chamfered edges, but those edges are also uh, polished. And then right under the bezel, uh, there is just a little bit of brushing, but other than that, um, everything else is polished. The bezel itself is beautiful. Now, I believe this is a mineral crystal on the bezel, but it does have really great action. And everything lines up. Now, I always bring up Bulova as a really good alternative to Seiko. Now, I'm a fan of Seiko, but I don't think watches like this get the look from Seiko fans at all. And they definitely should. This is a very good looking watch. So, no, it does not hack. It does hand wind. So, I'll unscrew the crown and you'll see. Um, it does not hack. But it does hand wind, uh, which is nice. And uh, for one reason or another, I have no idea, they could put a hacking movement in here. They have it, they use it for the bull of a hack. And the 8 Series, I really don't have a problem with the 8 Series movements from Miyota. Uh, I think they're actually pretty reliable movements, they're robust. Um, I just wish that they would use the hacking and hand winding versions in all of their watches. Uh, it definitely makes way more sense. People want that hacking function. So I would say that's a miss here for this watch. Definitely uh, for for the price that they're charging, this should be a hacking watch. But really, that's the only qualm that I have with this watch. If they put a 9000 series in here, it would be a lot more expensive um, and it would be a lot more appealing, but I don't think I need it. If they put a hacking eight series, it would be perfect. Um, just a really 
Great looking watch. I think they charge like $750 for it. However, they offer discounts all the time. And in fact, they're offering a discount right now. If you go on their website, it's 20% off. So it's like $600 for this watch. Yes, that is a lot more expensive than a lot of other brands out there that are offering a little bit nicer of a movement, but you're never going to get, especially if you're considering micro brands, finishing like this. The finishing on this case is really nice. The polishing is excellent. The crown is really nice. Uh, the case back, the brushing, the circular brushing and the polishing looks fantastic. Really nice buckle on here, bespoke sort of uh, buckle for the brand. It says Bulova on it. Uh, definitely a lot of Seikos out there to compete with this as well. Uh, however, if you want something in this sort of range with this sort of look and feel to it, you're going to be spending around $600. That's what they're going to charge as well. So it's really up to you. Uh, definitely, I would check out, like if you were in the market for a Turtle, I would check out this watch. If you were in the market for an SBDC061, one of my favorite watches from Seiko, definitely check this out. If you're in the market for an SKX, this is definitely a better watch than an SKX. Now, that's better made. Now you can go back and forth on whether it's a better watch. I'm not saying it's a better watch. I'm just saying it's better, definitely better made than an SKX. Uh, physically, the, the actual fit and finish of the case is nicer. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Please don't jump on me for that. Uh, anyway, let me show you what I'm wearing today and then I'm gonna throw this guy on my wrist. We're also gonna do a loom shot. Uh, very quickly, today I am wearing another bull of a product, I guess you could call it. It's an Accutron. Uh, it's a little bit uh, smudged up, but this is my Accutron um, uh, Diver. It's a VX. It's a uh, sort of a Pepsi setup. So you have a black dial, applied indices. Loom is not bad on here. Uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing on this pretty soon. Um, it says Bulova on the back. So this is, you know, obviously from the era where uh, Bulova and Accutron were one company. Uh, now they have split technically under the Citizen umbrella. So they are separate companies, but this does say Accutron only on the dial. However, there are Bulova examples where it just says Bulova on the dial. Uh, beautiful bracelet on here. This is one of these watches that, you know, uh, it just flies under the radar and these are super, super affordable right now. Um, and it gets an ETA movement in it. So this is a 2824 signed with the Accutron logo. Can't go wrong with something like that. Pretty damn cool. So as I mentioned, this is a 44 millimeter watch. There is a big wingspan on this watch because of the strap, but it really doesn't make that much dif difference at all on my seven and a half inch wrist because um, it just fits nicely on my seven and a half inch wrist. The strap is really nice on here. It's very soft and supple. Uh, feels really good. It's very comfortable and you can see on my wrist seven and a half inch wrist it wears pretty much like a 41 millimeter watch um, It is very comfortable as I mentioned that lug width does not matter uh, The 41 or the 44 millimeter lug width definitely doesn't matter if you put this on a leather strap I think it would dress it up a little bit as well uh, I just love this watch. I really think it's something special um, and it has a history. It's one of those watches that um, you know, it's been around for a long time, the 666 Devil Diver. Uh, the orange on this is something that you will have to get used to. So you have a little bit of orange in that bezel, and then you have a ton of orange on the dial, and that orange is bright. So as I mentioned, it's a uh, sort of a matte colored dial, and you have a crosshair on the dial there, um, and it does have a little window around the date, and then it just says Bulova, uh, which is applied at the uh, 12 o'clock, but uh, it's the matte finish and the color of the dial. It just really pops when it's on your wrist. People notice this watch. I'm wearing it on and off and people definitely notice this watch because of the dial uh, and that orange. Like I said, it's a neon orange, which is not uh, typical for a dial, uh, orange dial watch. It's more uh, sometimes muted. This is not muted in any way. It's a very loud uh, color. So very quickly, a loom shot. Well, there you have it. You can see Loom is excellent on here. For a major brand, it's actually really good. Those cylinders of acrylic are filled with Loom um, and you can see they glow very nicely. The hands, uh, you have a little lollipop on that second hand that is glowing very nicely and bright as well. You have a triangle in the bezel. I wish there was more Loom in the bezel, maybe some of the markings in the bezel, that would have been nice. Uh, however, otherwise the Loom is excellent on here. Um, and it is very bright uh, for a major brand especially. I think they did an excellent job. They actually do a pretty good job. This is my uh, Bulova Accutron or my Accutron. 
Uh, and you can see I didn't charge this at all and it's got pretty good glow to it. This is just from being outside and walking inside and I've been inside for quite some time. Uh, but I wanted to show you this because there is that logo there at the 12 o'clock. That's the Accutron logo. I think Bulova make some amazing watches. They make watches that are finished uh, at a higher price point uh, and they're selling watches at a lower price point. So I think that they're doing the job of a higher end watch manufacturer. They're doing the finishing work uh, of a higher end watch manufacturer, but they're offering you know, pretty low price, more budget friendly watches. Uh, and this is a really good example of, uh, of one of those watches. $600 I think is an excellent price. You can go on their website. They always have sales. Um, this is regularly priced at $750. They have it on sale for $600. However, uh, they don't really advertise any of their sales. You just go on their website and you look and you see that they have discounts that they offer from time to time. And one of those times is right now. So 600 bucks. Like I said, I was lent this watch. Uh, Bulova, do not pay me in any way. I'm just a big fan of Bulova. I own a few Bulovas, Accutrons. Um, just love the brand. And, um, you know, I think that they are a very good competitor to a lot of popular Seikos, which I'm also a big fan of, as you guys know. Um, and the quality is on par with their sort of mid-tier watches. The SBDC 061 that I own, um, I think definitely is on par with this finishing wise. Now movement is a different story because this gets the eight series movement, which does not hack. And I think that they do that because of course they're under the Miyota umbrella uh, and they have that parts bin to sort of play around in. Um, and if they go outside of that, it's gonna cost you a lot more money. Um, but that's just the way it is, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but tell me what you guys think of this watch in the comments below. I love the oceanographer. I love the history behind the watch. I love the history behind the brand. I love the look and the fit and the finish of this watch. Um, just a couple of things that I would have improved, uh, but really nothing that would be a deal breaker. Uh, fits really nice and is a very comfortable watch as well. Uh, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel. It helps me bring you videos like this. Uh, and I very much appreciate it. Uh, anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.